Addie's shelf here. Addie's shelf here again. Um, today we're gonna be looking at my wet specimens. No pun intended. That was bad. But anyway, we're gonna look at them in order and whence I got them, starting with my first one to my latest one, and then I'm gonna talk about two more that I'll be getting in the mail very soon. Um, my first wet specimen I've ever had. Now, originally, the waters for rubbing alcohol is blue. Can I get it? It's just a little white goldfish. So, story behind him is my boyfriend bought me him for Valentine's Day, and then he died the next day. I'm like, well, I'm not gonna throw it away. And I looked at this kind of stuff before, so I'm like, oh, I can do this, no big deal. And still got him. The water was clear before, and then I'm like, oh, he's white, let's add food coloring, and it worked out good, so. The next thing I got, okay. So then once my friends found out, like I've had other things before wet specimens. I had like uh, formaldehyde injected dry specimens. So like this was my first wet one. So the next one I got, my friends were like, oh, you like dead things? And we live by railroad tracks. And I believe this is a muskrat paw. And so what happened is my friends are at the door with like this bundle of leaves in their hands. They're like, we have something for you. And I'm like, oh. And so I had like three minutes to find a jar and stuff. And I'm like, okay. But that's the story behind this. And then my, was this one? This one was next. All right, this one I got at, not an antique. Okay, so where I live, there's a few towns over. There's like, it's closed now, but back then there was like, it was half, scrapbooking supplies and half antiques like store but it was like really small and this was there and it's a little tiny hermit crab and he's so cute and at the antique center right now the one I actually always go to they have one like in a similar packaging by the same company with a clam in it that I probably want to get soon just because of the fact that it matches the next thing I got was a, oh, what class was it? It was back, God, junior year of high school? I want to say junior year. Well, anyway, it was some class, and we had to make, like, a statement about, what was it? It wasn't global warming, but it was, like, basically, like, pollution. So I took a bunch of very dead dry minnows I found in a field and put them in a lotion bottle because like the fish are dead and the lotion bottle is the trash and then I just kept it because I'm like nah. okay the next thing would be this one which is oh, where's the lens here it is Oh, a little tiny wolf spider. Story is, he tried to take a shower with me, and then I felt bad. So, now he's in a little maple syrup bottle. Okay, this, the story, I think this counts as a wet specimen, so it turned upside down. Um, it didn't turn out very well, and it's not even, like, a complete thing. So, my friend gave me all these wasps, because they died in her window, and I was going to make jewelry with them, because I was doing this thing where I was, like, putting snake skin... And then, like, a wasp and, like, a stone and stuff like that in it. But, um, this guy I found, he was dead holding one of his little brethren's head, and it was so weird. It's supposed to be, like, this way, but I failed. It was supposed to be a hand sanitizer preservation, my first attempt at it. And it's terrible, and you can tell I wasn't super serious, because it's the kind with the beads, and you shouldn't use that kind, but that's what I did. Um... The next one came from the Antique Center, which is this big guy. I think he was originally 30 bucks, but I think I paid 25 for him. And my grandma's like, well, why do you want that? I'm like, look, he's got his little pearl in there, and yep. And I had um, this friend with me that didn't know I was into all this, and she goes, and I'm pointing out all, like, oh, this is this, and this does this in him, and, like, this is how he attaches this stuff, and she's like, 
what? <laughs> and we had just become friends recently, so it was weird to her. And then my latest one was this last, huh, Thursday? It's Saturday now, so. I found him. He, um, we have a metal fence in our backyard, like, with the little wires. Not like barbed wire, but like it's squares of wire in our backyard because we have dogs so they don't get out. And this little guy clotheslined on it. Yup. And my one dog found him and brought him to me. So now we're to an empty one because I'm going to tell you what's going in here. So I ordered from, uh, I believe it's Living Biohazard on Instagram. I ordered a, I want to say it's a fetal jackrabbit, but anyway, it's a baby jackrabbit, and it's, like, probably only about this big, and he's so cute, and I can't wait to get him in the mail. We just paid today, so he should be here, hopefully by Friday, but if not, hey, oh well. And then I also ordered from him, which isn't going, this is for the jackrabbit, and then I don't have a jar for him yet, but I got a little teeny tiny red-eared slider, too, so... That's all I have for today. Hopefully, I'll have more to share later. 